Hey everyone, David Burgess here again with Keller Williams Realty. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel on this beautifully hot day. It's so hot today that I'm gonna make this video super short and I've got my shades on because it's very, very bright. I couldn't find any shade anywhere. But anyway, I am here in Star Farms in Lakewood Ranch and I'm about to let you know of the next builder that is coming to this area and this community which is Tampa Bay's very own Homes by West Bay. And if you're unfamiliar, excuse me, if you're unfamiliar with um, Homes by West Bay, they are a Tampa builder who have slowly started to encroach on the Manatee County space. And they've always been in Tampa, but over the last two or three years, they've been building in North River Ranch, Crosswind Point, and Crosswind Ranch in Parish. And now they are a few miles further south in Lakewood. And I have tried to get as much information as I possibly can for you, but right now there is very, very little information other than the fact that we know that they are going to be building here. A model is starting very, very soon. I've driven around here extensively and I cannot find where they are building. Nobody seems to be able to let me know. I cannot see anything on the county permit site, but they are going to be in Star Farms. Now, I would expect their model home to be here in the next few months, probably towards the end of the year, but that doesn't mean that they won't be selling homes beforehand. Knowing West Bay, they like to build the odd spec home, and I would expect them to start building some spec homes, as well as giving people the option to build a home from scratch as well. So I do think they'll give you that variety um, and those options, and they're going to be building the 60 feet wide product, which is the Artisan series, the Executive series, sorry, Executive Homes on the Artisan series, which is very, very similar to the community. I just had a closing in this morning, actually, in Crosswind Ranch in Parish. Um, they are gonna have the, um, the concrete tile roofs, they're gonna have the paved driveways, they're gonna have the, the beautiful stone elevations. That's one thing I really like about West Bay, are their elevations, they, they love the stone on the front and they're just different to other builders, they really are. Um, I did have, um, I did have a conversation with the lady in the information center, Jackie, and she had never heard of West Bay before. And she, she asked me, what would you, who would you say they're most like as a builder? And I would say they're like a blend of probably MI Homes and, and Neil Community, someone like that. Yeah, I would say they're a kind of a blend of those. I wouldn't say there's anyone that really compares to their style. Um, they love high ceilings, they love open floor plans, they love great upgrades. Their, their service can, a bit like Taylor Morrison, their service can leave a lot to be desired at times. I've had great ones with them, I've had some poor ones, but um, but overall they definitely build a great home and they're very popular. Their, their floor plans are very, very popular. So although the, there is a market slowdown at the moment, although interest rates are high, I do expect these to sell like hotcakes here in, in Star Farms. And if you're unfamiliar with Star Farms, this is a DR Horton community that is 95% DR Horton homes, but they do have a handful, I say probably like 20 to 30 fully custom homes, which are built by Lee Wetherington, Arthur Ruttenberg, and John Cannon. And at the moment, they do stand out like a sore thumb a little bit around here, to be honest. It's a kind of a, it's a quirky community in that regard. DR Horton do have a blend of series. They have like townhomes, villas, they have an active adult section, they have the Emerald series of homes, they've got their, their more standard product. It's a bit confusing in here, to be honest. When I, when I try to explain Star Farms to a lot of people, they're, they're a little bit like, well, there's a lot of information going on here. But basically, there's a lot of different products going on within Star Farms. But it's going to have awesome amenities here. Um, you're going to have a new school on the horizon. You're very close to State Road 64. I just don't know whereabouts West Bay are going to be building. Are they going to be in a new phase? Are they going to be next to those custom homes? I have no idea right now. Speaking to the internet sales team, they, they're not really given any information. I think we will know more within the next 30 to 60 days. But if you are interested, I highly recommend that you register your information on their website. And I, of course, will give you more updates as I come across them. Um, the floor plans that I'm expecting to be here are going to be um, like the other 60 foot products, like the Biscayne, the Isla Mirada, I think I pronounced that right, the Verona and the Madeira. They are the 60 feet wide products, all have three car garages. Um, 
If you see a, a one and a two floor plan, then the one is the, the a single story, the two is the same floor plan with the bonus room. I know that sounds very obvious, but some builders like Neil Communities, they do a one and a two, which means that the two has upgrades that the one didn't, or it's like a you know, it's like an upgraded version of the of the one. So if you see a one and a two with the same floor plan, it just means the two has the upstairs bonus room. You can definitely get that with the Biscayne and I think with the Isla Mirada as well. West Bay did allude to me that they might be building some new floor plans here. Um, I'll be surprised by that, to be honest. If that's true, that is certainly that is certainly something they've never done before, knowing their their presence in Tampa and every other community they've sold. Um, I've never known them to break away from their floor plans, but they do have a real wide variety of homes. Um, and their smaller products, like the Sandpiper that's super popular, um, doesn't look like they're building them here. So it looks like we're only gonna have 60 feet wide homes. Um, again, that could change over time. I will let you know if so. But right now, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. This is the newest builder that is coming to Lakewood and it is gonna be in Star Farm. So I'll probably follow on with this video um, in another updated version or I'll do a short or whatever. But if you're interested, then absolutely click on the link below and register your interest on their VIP page and you might get there you might get information at the same time as I do but if you have any questions or concerns please reach out to me um, I will be absolutely glad to tell you my experiences with West Bay what I think they're really good at and what they're not so good at but I know for a fact that they will sell extremely well in here as they're different they're different to everything else that Lakewood offers and I don't think a lot of Lakewood people that seem to hop from village and community to the next shiny new object they are going to be a lot of them will be very unfamiliar with West Bay as a builder and I think they'll be very impressed so lastly price point I think they're going to be in the kind of I think they're going to be about 10 to 15 percent higher than the Crosswind Ranch community in Parish um, so I would look to there as a template and a guide um, but I would say that they're going to be anywhere from like the 800 range to the low 1.1 1.2 range is my guesstimate but we shall see thank you again for watching please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like more content from me and all things real estate related on the west coast of Florida